hello everyone welcome again and i'm going to continue that kotlin studio tutorial and this tutorial we'll see how to read data from excel file and how to write data in next tutorial in very next tutorial we'll see how to write data from uh, inside that excel file from the uh, get response from the website and you can store the data response inside your excel file so so uh, finally in this video we'll cover how to read data uh, read data first so I'm going to create a complete uh, uh, project, complete new project in Catalan Studio. To create a new project, just go and file, create a new and project. And this here you need to project name, so data, read data demo, read data demo, and uh, description will be optional. So first of all, I'm going to create a test case, new test case for a demo purpose so create a test case test case name will be tc1 and just i'm going to perform the login operation here so just create a, a record option I click on that record web and enter your url which you are going to record just click on start or click on the browser icon before that you can select any appropriate browser like if you want to run on firebox you can run on that firebox from ie and another browser as well so i need to wait to load that url on your browser okay so browser is loaded successfully and uh, click on that make appointment button and next i'm going to enter that some id password here so i'm going to enter a wrong id password so i'm going to randomly pass a uh, username and enter password just click on login so okay it's done and I'm going to stop that recording and click OK. So you need to store that object in an object repository folder. Click on OK. So it's everything is set. The test case is ready. Uh, I enter the wrong ID password. So uh, I want that ID password will be provided via Excel file. So first, you need to create an Excel file. So I'm going to create an Excel file. So the first column of the Excel side will be your uh, column name like user or password something and here I'm going to enter some data one two username and password some random data and one the right entry which I want to like um, what was it so I need to again go on that particular URL and check the detail the right username is John Dao and so I'm going to enter in third column and this is not a password will be the password okay so wait a second. Uh, I need to store that I need to save this uh, excel file okay so just I'm going to store this in uh, Catalan studio tutorial somewhere inside your inside your uh, computer inside your system so I'm going to create a folder here for demo data demo data and the file name will be demo okay, F -style. okay I'm going to save this and I'm going to close this next here the next step is I'm going to create some variable here so variable name will be username user and the second variable for a password password and the user so variable is set now I need to call that variable here directly so inside the in, uh, if I'm going to insert the data directly, instead of I'm going to use the variables which I declare just so username and password here. Just now we need to create a user and password. Okay, just I need to create a, a data file here. So for creating a data file just right click on data file new create a test data and uh, login file 
login data will be name okay create a login data and just browse that file and I stored it file in drive and inside this demo data demo done so you can see the data is a pair here user inside this user the first the you can see you can check this check this uh, checkbox uh, use first row as a header so my first row will be was a user and passwords and another uh, reminder rows will be the data okay so there is some default data you can select the seat here and just click on the use relative path and just save it and uh, Test case is ready, variable is ready. Now we need to create a test suite here. So right click on the test suite, click test suite. The default name will be a new test suite and add a test case here. So I have one test case, so I just add the test case here and click on the show data wine and Now new t add data add data file here. So just click on add, and my data file is login data. So click on OK, and uh, now you need to change the default to data column. And when you change this as a data column, you can see here there is test data, and you need to set the data. So data file is login data, and here you need to set the value. So value will be the column name so column name will be the user and again set the same process data column inside the data column login data inside this there will be a password right so everything is done i think now we need to execute the test suite so i select the test suite and run the test suite on a particular browser so by default i'm going to use the chrome browser so you can see in a console log the browser is going to launch and it will take the value from that uh, excel file so there will be three entries uh, there was three entries uh, three rows and it will be executed three times again so just wait and watch so browser is launched successfully first time and You can see the data first uh, first rows data is done then it will try for a second time so again loaded the URL click it will click on the make appointment and again enter the second data which is also the wrong username and password again it will be run the third time because there is a third entry is also in that file so click on make appointment and it and at this time it will take the right data the right username and password so it will execute successfully it will be login successfully yeah there is a zone DAO and click on okay so the test case is run successfully uh, so in next tutorial we will see how to write data from get get a response from website or a blog and uh, and store it in your excel file so thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe for more videos and uh, if you have any doubt related to this you can comment to me i will try to solve uh, that all your queries thank you